Hey, my name is Max. Welcome back again to part three of this tutorial series on Gulp and modern web development workflow. In this video, I'll show you how you can minify your JavaScript by using a Gulp plugin for Uglify.js. I'll also show you how you can use environment variables to only minify your JavaScript and strip out the source maps if you're actually in a production environment. To accomplish this, we'll leverage a Gulp plugin called Gulp if. All right, let's install Uglify for Gulp first. All right, now that that's installed, let's require Gulp Uglify in our Gulp file and add Uglify to the pipeline for our JS task. By now, you can probably see how easy it is in Gulp to add to a build process. Let's see if everything works as intended. This is what our compiled JavaScript looked like up until now. Now if we run the gulp.js task again, and check out our compiled JavaScript again, you can see that it's all squishy on one line, which is just what we wanted. Going back to our browser, however, we can tell that Uglify not only compressed our JavaScript, but also stripped out our source maps that were generated by Browserify. So let's make sure to only minify our JavaScript if we are compiling for a production environment. Before we go back to our gulp file, let's quickly grab a plugin called gulp if. Now, let's set up our gulp file to use environment variables. You can set these from the command line before executing any Node.js task. I'll show you how in just a second. To keep things clean, let's make sure to only include source maps if we are in a development environment. Now, to only include Uglify in the pipeline if we are in a production environment, we can use gulp if, which we just installed a moment ago. Let's require that. And then we can say pipe gulp if. environment equals production, and only then uglify. Now setting our environment variable is really easy. All we need to do is type node underscore env equals and then any value before we execute any Node.js task. If we check back to our compiled JavaScript, we can confirm that it's still uglified. So now let's set our environment variable to development before executing the task. And just as expected, source maps are included and the code was not uglified. Let's quickly make sure that everything works and we didn't break anything. I'll quickly refresh and everything seems to be fine. Before I end this video, I'll make another small change so that we don't always have to set the environment variable before executing a gulp task. So I'll just make sure that if we didn't explicitly set node env, that it defaults to development. All right, that was it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. During this series, we'll be refactoring our gulp file a few more times, just like we did today. As always, if you have any feedback for me, please leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye.